So in yesterday's web dev tip, we were writing a target URL that the user's chosen from the front end app into the database. But now what we need to do is actually pick out that target property that's been written to the uh, URL that's been created and, and use that to redirect the users when they actually consume the short URLs from our Rickroll app. So you can see here in the code that this is the target that we were setting and that's what gets written into the database. So over here in our redirect uh, URL, sorry, our redirect endpoint, uh, we're taking this ID and then we're basically finding that record in the database and then just simply redirecting uh, the user uh, to a specific video. So what we want to do here is basically change this to not just check for the fact that we found a result, but also to find out what uh, property, what target it should be sent to. So I'm first going to do that and then we're actually going to move this into its own routing file as well because it's in the main.ts file. Uh, so we don't really want to leave it just there. Um, but this is pretty simple. Uh, so that find result should have a target property on there. Uh, so we could just nest something inside of this if statement here to say the target uh, is what is, is the property that we're setting on the database uh, record for where we want to send the user. And we'll just destructure that from the uh, find result. So this target will have the URL um, as we did uh, here uh, when we created a new uh, Rickroll with our new code yesterday. So what we'll do, uh, we'll basically get rid of this hard-coded URL and then all we need to do is just say we're going to redirect it to that target. Now, of course, there might be some records that we've created previously uh, that don't have a target property. So uh, this might be empty. So we will get a bit of a problem here because we're going to be uh, redirecting users to undefined to nothing. So that will cause a bit of an issue. So we could, if we wanted to uh, set a default property on the target as well, uh, and this might be useful just while we're doing our, our development work, just in case we come across a, uh, a record in the database that doesn't have this target property. Uh, but I guess ultimately you'd probably want to remove this at some point. Okay, so if we save that and just go back to our front end app, uh, let's just reload it just so we make sure we've got a fresh copy of the app there. Uh, so uh, if we just create a new Rickroll here with the standard settings we should be going to the official uh, Rick Astley music video so so let's just copy that and then paste it and see where that takes us to uh, so uh, obviously we're getting all the adverts but yeah that is the official uh, Rick Astley video there so let's change that and go to a different uh, Rickroll uh, endpoint so we've created a different URL there let's just copy that and if we just go and paste that into the browser uh, we should find now we're actually being redirected to the other location. So that's basically the feature of giving the user uh, the choice of where to go uh, basically completed because uh, we've got the point where we can actually choose a different uh, URL and don't forget you can go and add more locations into our common definitions file and this will automatically update. And then you create a new uh, you are short URL, copy that to your clipboard, and away you go. You're redirected to wherever you've decided to send the user based on this list. Okay, so just before we wrap up this video, uh, as I said, we're going to move this uh, route here into its own routing file, uh, simply because it shouldn't be in the, the main.ts file, and nice to keep everything separate. Uh, and also, it helps with some code maintainability, because we might want to add more routes into this later on. So this is fairly straightforward with the code we've got. Uh, if we just pick it up and take it out of uh, this main.ts file here, uh, in our roots folder, uh, don't forget we've got already got the short URL uh, roots in there. We'll create a new file and we'll call it uh, redirect URL roots.ts and we can just pop that down into here. Of course, we haven't got reference to the app, but we do uh, want to get reference to the router from the app. So we just import that from the express package there. And so say, router.get and that is pretty much the uh, root updated as complete typescript is complaining here at the moment because we don't have uh, the uh, interfaces uh, for request and response imported there um, but we don't need to really change anything else because uh, we've got access to everything else inside the root so we just close that up and then all we need to do is say export uh, router as and we called it redirect URL roots from this file uh, the name's not important, you can give it uh, any name you like, but it uh, obviously helps to be descriptive there. So back in the main.ts file, as we did here, uh, we said app.use short URL root. We'll say app.use uh, redirect uh, URL roots and just import that. Uh, so we've got it imported there. 
And now we've made our main.ts file a little bit neater. It's just handling the application setup, the connection to the database, uh, and serving the actual uh, app itself. And the routes them, themselves have been separated out into their individual files so we can uh, easily find them and maintain them later on. Uh, so let's just check we haven't broken anything before we finish the video. So reload the app, uh, create a new uh, Rickroll URL. Uh, let's just check that redirect uh, link there as well. Uh, let's just copy it from the uh, app is probably the easiest thing to do. And then just paste that into the browser. And there you go. You can see that's the other uh, video that we'd uh, posted into our allowed URL routes. So there you go. There's our redirect setup and working. And they're taking that property from the database now. And also we did a bit of tidying up in our app as well. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.